Oh, goodness. The six gets, it's like, oh, oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Wow. Like Morris said, got into the six car. David Reagan. Oh. Pat Trice is upset with J.J. Yaley, I guess. <laughs> That's pretty slick, the knowledge of crowds. And thanking the fans. Let's go back and take a look. Well, it looks like Yaley decided to come down the, into pit lane. And didn't let everybody behind oh. him know. And I mean, took out two. I believe he was trying to get the pit road right there with that trouble that he had. And that that's Joe Nemechek that also got into him. Let's go on board. when Cody Ware went for a spin in the 25. A couple of other guys checking up and simply nowhere to go. You can see Ware high on the racetrack, just coming into the screen. He saw it shot up right there. He got loose behind those cars, got up into marbles and just lost it. Now he does his job. He, he's got his brakes on and coming to a stop. The car's going to naturally slide down the bank a bit and Bubba's trying to tuck to the bottom. Man! You could tell he's just committed on that outside line. You're wide open. I mean, clear pass, you know, even before the apex of the corner, you're wide open. And you could just see they just couldn't react. Back in May, and all he has to do now is negotiate two more corners, and he's going to do it again at Iowa Speedway. He dominated last week, Marty. Didn't get the win, but it looks as though he's got a little redemption in mind here tonight. He oh, look out as he has a tire situation. Here comes Edwards right wow. into it. They cross the line. Who wins the race? Stenhouse. Well, thanks to Carl Edwards. Gave him Way up the racetrack goes the 32, catches the six, and around goes Justin Lofton. Hits the 13 of Johnny Sauter. They crash right at the start finish line, and they catch the 32 of Miguel Faludo. Wow. That was a huge crash. Yeah. And that was a long time yeah, in developing, right. too. The six of Justin Lofton got sideways way, way early at the exit of four. There are the cars involved in the crash. Todd Bodine and also Loy Allen, Jeff Gordon, and Jeff Burton. And that's where his car, Mark Martins, came to rest. And you see, they're, they're trying to put back up a chain link fence. Is that, is that a brand name or is that the type of fence? I'm not sure, but they're trying. He just ripped that baby down. He sure did. We'll show you again what happened in real time so you can get some idea of how fast Mark Martin was going when he went through one guardrail and came to rest against another. Oh, man. It's a wonder he didn't fly over that guardrail and come to land uh, against those people down there, maybe. This was earlier in the lap. The Algar gets loose in the trioval. They recovered from that, though. That wasn't the problem. And they made the swap. See, right here, the 31 car is leading Ricky Stenhouse over there. He thinks that they have those cars cleared. Stenhouse does, too, obviously. Trevor Bain is still there, and it turns him into the outside wall. Yeah, you're basically having to clear two cars right here. The second car is just not clear. clear. Catching some slow ones. Watch them up here. So a tough break for Ricky. Clear, he has top 10 finishes in five of the six races in 2011, but that's not going to happen today. Now He's got the 11 up in front of him on the radio. We heard him say, tell the 11 thanks, and 11 came down on him. Yeah, I mean, the 11 takes a left to try to pass the 22. I'm, I'm sure he didn't mean to hit the six, but simply he's the cause. And this will this show it clear as day. The six is inside clear. the 11. Clear, clear. The 11 He's turns coming. left. To get 16 laps in the first six Brickyard 400s. Right now, he has been out front for the first 12. Caution is out at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We have had a crash down in turn number one involving Mark Martin. We also understand the car of Jeff Gordon is damaged. The safety crew is at the Valvoline Ford. And Mark Martin is climbing out uninjured. We'll take a look at what happened as the cars went down into turn number one on the 16th lap. There's Martin on the inside of Michael Walter. 
Jimmy Mike Skinner right behind just to go in the corner Skinner gets in the back of Mark Martin and boom in the wall goes Mark and here's Jeff Gordon making some contact with Rick Mast as he go down in turn one and Mast. Uh